Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is Brindis. So today, I am so lucky because when I went to the Asian store, I found this a mud crab. I just bought one because I don't know exactly if this is fresh when I'm going to finish to cook. So let me show you how to make my crab, I mean how to cook my crabs. First we have to clean the crabs. to remove this and it's very good to open the shell or oh, the shell is already broken so I have to be very careful otherwise I can hurt myself or oh, I can see it is very fat the crab then when I am cooking crab at home, back in the Philippines, I really want to remove this like a, I don't know, like a sponge here. See? You cannot see it very well because this is frozen. It is very good to remove this and clean the side. But do not remove this yellow thing because that is the fat from the crab. So once I finish to wash it, I'm going to slice it into two pieces. So here are the ingredients for my crab. Of course, the main ingredient is crab which I show you earlier and I will be using Brussels sprouts by the way I finished to blanch it for a few minutes because I find the this the, the taste of the sprouts it's a little bit strong so I blanch it a little bit so it's not so strong anymore and it's also a little bit cooked so I will be using orange to add more sweetness in my crab and here are the garlic onion and the ginger and I'm also using this uh, chili paste because I uh, don't have any chili or fresh chili in my refrigerator so I am also adding this sweet and chili sauce and I am using as always olive oil to saute and then I'm going to use a few drops of sesame oil to add more aroma in my um, crabs by the way to all my viewers out there shout out to all my viewers from Vietnam uh, United States and other part of the world thank you so much guys for uh, watching my videos now I'm going to start to cook Olive oil. Then I'm going to add my ginger. So when the onion 
contour transparent, I will be adding my garlic. OMG! Guys, if you can smell my kitchen, you can you can really uh, feel the smell of the spices. The onion and the ginger is going to be uh, cooked anytime soon. So I think I'm going to add now my garlic. Smells so good in my kitchen. This is one of my favorite. You know, crabs is my favorite aside from lobster. If you if you watch my previous videos, I don't cook meat more often because I don't eat meat. Usually, when I'm cooking meat or chicken, uh, that's because I'm cooking that for my son. But today, I am making for myself or I'm cooking for myself for dinner. Now my uh, onion is turned transparent, I'm going to add my crumbs. Now I'm going to add my chili paste. So if you are cooking 5 crabs, then it is ideal to put 5 teaspoons of chili paste and 5 pieces of orange or orange juice. However, if you don't like spicy, you can just disregard the chili paste. Actually, when I put the chili paste, it's not very spicy at all. After I put my chili paste, I'm going to add my orange, orange juice rather. I finished to squeeze it. Now it's time for me to add it into the crab. Then I have to simmer it for another few minutes until the crab will fully cook by the way I'm also adding this uh, Brussels sprout in the crab guys this is only optional uh, this Brussels sprout because I like to eat I mean I like when I am eating I have some vegetables with and since uh, Brussels sprout is available in my refrigerator that is why I am uh, using also for my crust to mix it all together my crab it's ready to eat enjoy guys if you want to uh, know the recipe please just look at the description below thank you guys for watching and please 
do not forget to subscribe in my YouTube channel, Miss Bry 65 Vlog. And don't forget to click the notification bell below so you will be able to watch my upcoming video. Bye! So now I am going to add my sesame oil. Just a tiny, tiny bit. By the way guys, I did not use the sweet chili sauce in this recipe like what I was planning to do because the orange is already uh, too much flavor and I don't want to ruin it. So that is why I did not add the chili, I mean the sweet chili sauce like I mentioned earlier. Now guys, would you care to join me come let's eat let's enjoy this crab with orange juice this is taste really delicious promise mmm smells good yum so here is my crab with orange thank you guys again for watching and please do not forget to subscribe in my youtube channel Miss Bry 65 blog and don't forget to click the notification bell below so you will be able to watch my upcoming video. Now I'm going to eat. Join me. Anyway, since I did, I am eating crabs, I'm going to use my hands. So let's eat. Guys, you better try this. This is really good. Then comment below if you like the recipe. But I can assure you if you like a little bit of spice, spiciness and the sweetness, this is really a top notch, believe me. Although the the crab it's not so fresh but the way I concoct all the ingredients it really comes really delicious guys mm. you must good. try this recipe it is really good I can assure you So guys, I finished to eat. If you like this recipe, I can assure you this is really good. If, if you want to try, please look the description below so you can see the recipe and I'm sure you will love it if you love crabs. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!